Hi, my name is Marcia, I'm the Blonde from Credit One, and today I want to discuss some very exciting news for the health tech industry with two major organizations in the health space and in the tech space forming a long-term partnership. So stick around if you'd like to learn more about what we should be excited about regarding this partnership, what the hospital of the future may look like, and how AI will disrupt the healthcare industry. So the companies that we're talking about are Providence St. Joseph Health and Microsoft. They have recently announced a multi-year strategic alliance to accelerate the digital transformation of healthcare. As you can imagine, since these organizations are industry leaders in their spaces, they have so much expertise to bring to the table and to really accelerate innovation in the health tech space, which is really huge for the industry. I've had the opportunity to interview BJ Moore, who is the Executive Vice President and the Chief Information Officer for Providence St. Joseph Health, who will tell you all about what this partnership means for the future of health tech. But before we get into the interview, I wanted to thank Providence St. Joseph Health for supporting this video. If you'd like to learn more about Providence St. Joseph Health and about this super exciting partnership, I'll leave some links in the description so that you can go scroll down and check them out right now. All right, let's get to the interview. Hi, BJ. How are you? I'm doing well. Thanks for having me here, Masha. I can't wait to share this video, so let's jump straight into it. What does this partnership entail? The partnership entails uh, three items. Uh, one, uh, it's about caregiver experience. Two, it's about modernization. And the third is around innovation. So the first one around caregiver experience, how do we move to the Microsoft stack, specifically Microsoft 365? So modern operating system, uh, Office 365, you know, modern information worker tools, as well as um, a, a seamless way in, in managing that environment. And that will go from many tools that our caregivers are having used today to allowing them to use one common set of Microsoft tools. Uh, the second one is around modernization. Right now we run our own data centers, we uh, host our own virtual machines. So we're really working with Microsoft. How do we get out of the data center business? How do we move to Azure, really leverage the, the great work that Microsoft is doing and allowing my IT team to really focus on those strategic differentiators which leads us to the third bucket, which is around innovation. And this is where the partnership is truly unique between Providence and um, Microsoft. So um, how do we build that hospital of the future? How do we bring the great research and development that Microsoft is doing with the clinical knowledge that we have at Providence, uh, the patients that we have at Providence, and do something unique to build, build that out? It sounds like those are three very big and very important areas with their own challenges. So when it comes to healthcare and this partnership, what areas do you think will be disrupted first? Well, we're still working with Microsoft to figure out the exact areas we're gonna innovate, uh, but I think there's two natural places we're gonna innovate. Uh, one is around um, caregiver productivity. Uh, today, the burden on our docs and nurses is just too great. And so what can we do to reduce that burden? Uh, examples could be conversational AI, artificial intelligence, where you know a, a caregiver is is giving patient care, and instead of being on a keyboard entering information, you know the conversational artificial intelligence can listen to the conversation, uh, know when it's just a conversation, ignore it, and know when it's a clinical discussion, and automatically add it to the uh, medical record. This would really free up the caregiver to deliver great uh, patient experience versus being a data entry clerk, which is uh, the feedback a lot of our caregivers give. Um, I think the other area of innovation we're gonna have with Microsoft is gonna be around big data. Uh, how do we take the great information we already have on tens of millions of patients and augment that with uh, Internet of Things, really move that into to big data. And with that big data, what are the insights we can get with machine learning and artificial intelligence? Um, that insight could improve patient outcome, it may uh, reduce operation costs. Uh, hopefully, we'll identify uh, diseases or, or sickness or health issues well in advance of when they occur and so that we can intervene with a patient before they get something like diabetes because we see the precursors early on. So we're still figuring out those exact areas to innovate with Microsoft, but I think those are two natural areas that we could innovate. 
That's super exciting. And I know you've said this is kind of open-ended at this point, but I know that I would love to visualize and I'm sure everybody is super curious to visualize what the hospital of the future may look like. So do you have any idea what the hospital of the future may mean or what it could look like? I think there's two areas we could potentially innovate with Microsoft. Um, one is around patient experience, the way you set up an appointment, maybe how you check in. Uh, once you're in a hospital setting, how you interact with your nurses and docs, the way you may get entertainment in your room, control your thermostat. You know, many of us have Alexas and we can, you know, uh, communicate with our home to turn on lights and change the thermostat. I think bringing those kind of experiences to a, a, a patient experience within our, our hospital is definitely an area of, of innovation that we want to explore. The other opportunity I see is the way that um, patients interact with their caregivers, their nurses and docs. Uh, we're moving to more of a team-based um, experience in delivering that care. Uh, so I think the way um, patients interact with a nurse or a doctor or a collection of doctors will change. And so um, a patient will go through a journey, for example, in a hospital, maybe checks in, uh, meets with a nurse, uh, gets an x-ray, that um, becomes then a team experience. The doctor's coming in, looking at that, maybe annotating the, the image. Um, so it's no longer just kind of this bespoke one-on-one -on -one, uh, kind of patient to, to caregiver experience. I think we can use technology to make it more of a, a teaming experience where uh, healthcare professionals and patients work together uh, for a patient experience and outcome. Thank you for making those examples very visual. It's hard to visualize innovation, but you have shared examples that are easy to imagine. And so a lot of what I'm hearing is AI, right? AI has so much potential to disrupt a ton of different industries, including healthcare. So overall, how do you see AI revolutionizing the healthcare industry? In what ways and what touch points do you see it doing so? So as I mentioned earlier, big data is going to be a big piece of uh, machine learning and artificial intelligence. Only through those technologies can we sift through that amount of data. But the other advantages of things like uh, artificial intelligence is it's working on your behalf around the clock. You know, today a doctor can't track you 24 by 7. Uh, it's an episodic. You come in, you see a doctor, 30 minutes later you're gone and, and the doctor doesn't see you anymore. Um, with the health bot or artificial intelligence, we can be scanning your data constantly, trillions of times. And so we may um, find things that um, augment a doctor, things that a doctor may miss that we can bring to a doctor's attention. Uh, we may uh, see precursors to a disease and be able to flag you early on. Uh, you know, BJ, you're on track uh, to getting diabetes. Come in, I think there's some interventions we can do um, uh, before then. And then we can constantly be perfecting the science. Um, so today I may get a blood test, my doctor may review it and everything looks fine, uh, but maybe uh, insights and blood tests are changing. And the beautiful thing about artificial intelligence is when the science changes, artificial intelligence can go back and look. And so in this case, maybe three months from now, what was deemed a normal blood result with new science may um, be an adverse result. And that artificial intelligence may go back through my, my blood tests and say, okay, BJ actually has some precursor and can reach out to me or reach out to my doctor in a way that a human being can't. So I think with artificial intelligence, it gives us scale, it augments our caregivers, and gives us insights that we as human beings um, just can't do um, with that volume or at that scale. That's awesome. It sounds like a lot of it is actually going to be around user experience. AI helping create this user experience for both patients and doctors um, to be that kind of mechanism that runs in the background and does all of the necessary procedures while making the relationship between the patient and the doctor more effective and more meaningful, I would say. Yeah, absolutely. I think um, artificial intelligence helps the patient uh, instead of the total burden beyond the patient. I'm sick, set up appointment, I'm gonna come in. Um, artificial intelligence may help uh, prompt, prompt you, see signs for illness that you didn't see, prompt you to help you get in more proactively. And then on the doctor side, really augmenting the doctor. I mean, today doctors and nurses are overworked. Um, we ask them to do too much. 
And so I think artificial intelligence can really augment them, uh, help them focus on the important things, sift through the medical record, call out the things that are important for them to focus on, help them ignore the things that maybe aren't important. So I think uh, absolutely helps the patient experience as well as the um, effectiveness of our caregivers. As someone who is always a little bit paranoid about her health, I would love that. AI, please help me stay sane. <laughs> So what should we be excited about when it comes to this partnership? What should we look out for and how can we stay on top of the different updates and the developments that come out of it? Well, what I'm excited about the partnership is you've got two uh, giants. Uh, Providence, one of the largest healthcare systems in the United States, Microsoft, a technology leader. Um, we sit in each other's backyards. We're literally 15 miles apart. And so it's fantastic uh, to see Microsoft uh, really wanting to help Providence to, to innovate and uh, for Providence to have this technology partner that really wants to help move such a critical industry like healthcare moving forward. As I mentioned, we're just really at the beginning of defining what uh, the innovation between these two companies um, is going to be. Um, and I'd say in the next six to nine months, uh, we'll be able to share more publicly um, the location of what that hospital of the future would look like, what are our plans um, for the hospital of the future, and then more importantly, um, how do we land that, right? It can't just be this abstract idea about a hospital of the future. How do we actually build the hospital of the future so um, patients, uh, customers, other people in the industry can uh, witness that hospital of the future firsthand? That's amazing. And how can we stay on top of all of these developments so that I guess we can either start using them or just to stay on top of what's happening in the world of health tech. Well, I think for the next six months, we're gonna be relatively quiet as we really deepen that partnership with Microsoft and to define that future state. I'd love to come back on and, and do another uh, interview with you, Masha, and, and share with uh, you and your audience um, the progress that we've made and really what that vision of the future is. I think that's gonna be a great way for us to stay connected and both what the Microsoft partnership um, ha entails, as well as what I see in, in healthcare and technology. I'm super excited to see what those next six months, nine months, a couple of years will bring, because yeah, it sounds like there will be a lot of very exciting things happening. Yeah, I'm super excited as well. Uh, we're really at a transformational part in healthcare, and with this partnership with Microsoft, um, be able to build that healthcare, um, you know, technology and innovate and build that hospital of the future. Not only talk about it, but actually witness it. Um, visit the hospital, see what these new technologies, see what artificial intelligence can bring to our, our patients and caregivers. I'm excited. So uh, thank you for the opportunity to speak with you today. I'm super excited about uh, our discussion and looking forward to sharing in the next six or nine months the progress that we've made. Well, thank you so much for your time and for sharing those insights with my audience. I'm super excited to share this video and to keep them updated on what's happening in the world of health tech, especially with such prominent figures in these different industries coming together to form this strategic multi-year partnership and to create and innovate for the good of people and humankind. So thank you. Thank you for the discussion. I really appreciate an opportunity to deliver a message to your audience. Thank you so much, BJ, for sharing more context on what this partnership entails and what it will mean for the future of health tech. I'm super excited to see where you take the healthcare industry in a few years. If you guys are interested in finding out more about this partnership or about Providence St. Joseph Health, I'll leave some links in the description. Again, thank you Providence St. Joseph Health for supporting this video and for enabling this sort of innovation in the health tech industry. I'm so excited to see what's to come. Let me know in the comments what you are mostly excited about when it comes to this partnership and what's your vision of the hospital of the future. Like this video if you've enjoyed it, share it with a friend, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, and of course, let's be friends on other social media. You can find me as at Coding Blonde. Have a wonderful time of the day you're currently experiencing. Bye.